And welcome to Playbook Radio. My name is Martin Williams. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast. You may do so on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. All the links to the podcast can be found at GamePlanPlaybook.com. That's GamePlanPlaybook.com. So today, what I wanted to talk to you about is when things go left, don't say dumb stuff. <laughs> the late Trevor Moab was a leading mindset coach who worked with some of the top athletes in the world. His clients included Russell Wilson and the University of Alabama football team. And one of his core principles to his clients was to stop saying dumb stuff when things go wrong. The temptation is to go down you know, your mindset, your mood when things are going down or going wrong and ultimately quit altogether. But language communicates feelings and commands. When you say it's over, or when you say it can't be saved, or when you say that there's no way that you can overcome this, everything in you stops trying. Everything in you stops wanting to make things better. So when things go south, whether it's a work project unraveling or a side project not going the way you thought it would, a relationship tanking, a negative health diagnosis, or a troll leaving a nasty comment on your content, the message is the same. Don't say dumb stuff. Dumb stuff would be saying things like, I hate this job. I hate this business. And I should have never started, started it. I hate this kid. I hate men. I hate women. I'm not good enough. This is pointless. All of it, dumb stuff. All things that you shouldn't say. Not because you don't have a right to feel that way, but because none of those things will help you in the trenches. None of those things will help you actually get the goal that you want. It's kind of like a piece of candy or, you know, some sort of treat. It, may, it makes you feel better in the short term. But if you continue to eat those types of things, they tend to have a negative effect on your health, right? If you continue to say those types of things, they have a negative effect on your mental health. You need faith and confidence to win the battle, no matter what the battle is. Do any of the above statements, the things that I just mentioned, inspire confidence? The second reason you shouldn't say dumb stuff is that it takes your focus off of you and onto the bad things happening. And what we focus on expands. What we focus on reproduces itself and gets bigger and more intimidating, okay? I remember in school, you know, I would get made fun of because of various reasons. My ears, my, the way that I talked, I, all kinds of stuff, right? <clears throat> and I would focus on that. I would hyper-focus on the things that kids would tease me about. And of course, you know, as a grown man, none of that stuff matters now. But at the time, yeah, it mattered a ton. But it mattered, and I made it matter even more because I hyper-focused on that instead of focusing on me. What I should have been doing and what I teach people to do is I should have been focusing on increasing my confidence level. Because, you know, once you have a, a confidence level so big, then none of that stuff, none of what people say can touch you because of the work that you do on yourself. But a lot of people don't recognize or realize that they have more power than they think they do. So they just focus on the negative comments or they focus on the bad things happening. But here's the thing you got to understand is that you can have hiccups on a project and the project still succeeds. You can have bad dates and still get married and have the family that you always wanted. You can have a bad play in a game, but still win the game. These two things are not you know, can, mutually exclusive. You can have one and still have the other, right? But as long as you focus on the micro and not the macro, you become so hyper-focused on the micro that you forget that the point of playing the game is to win the game. The point of starting the business is for the business to go out and succeed and help people and bring impact. The point of Work is to, you know, do your job and do it in the best way possible. It's not about 
the micro mistakes that you make. You have to focus on the macro and get back into the game because as long as you take yourself out of the game, you can't win the game. Okay. So always remember that you're the author of the story and you're also the character. So even though you're the character, you're also the author and you can't forget that you hold the pen and that you can say something different than what you're seeing at the moment. Now, maybe you can't muster up a positive statement because things are just going so awful right now. Okay. Moad said, instead of coming up with a positive statement, come up with something neutral. So when something bad happens, say something like, huh, that's interesting. Or, wow. Or, okay, you know, say something neutral to break the pattern. It doesn't have to be a long dialogue. You just got to break the negative pattern, the negative momentum. Because if you allow that negative momentum to take you down, right, your words will take you down to a point that you can't do anything. Ultimately, what you want to do is that you want to say what your goal is, right? But you got to work on process before outcome if, you know, you've gotten to a point where you don't believe anything good is going to happen. I say what I want to see regardless of what's happening around me right now. You know, I say things like this project ended successfully. I got the grade that I wanted in this course. I'm doing well financially. My business is thriving. I'm fully healthy and I feel amazing. I'm in a relationship, you know, where I'm loved and and cared for. And, you know, you say the things that you want to see instead of saying the things that you're seeing happen around you at the moment. Because what I say about myself doesn't change what's happening now. It changes me so I can respond better to what's happening now. So thank you so much for listening to Playbook Radio. My name is Martin Williams. If you're ready to take your mental game to another level, I'm now seeing clients. So click the link in the description to set up a free discovery call. But for now, I will talk to you soon. Thank you.